Hi, I'm Dr. Brigitte Sperry and I want to tell you a story. My mother uh, at 85 was diagnosed with a brain tumor. This resulted over the next two years of five heart attacks and six strokes. She'd be well and then sick and then well and then sick. She'd come home and do laundry and then a month later be back in the hospital for long stretches of time. But she was a fighter and she said she still had a few things she wanted to finish. During that time, people would come and talk to my mother because they had been doing that for some time. My mother makes friends with all kinds of folks and I say that in the present because she's still making friends with you. One day, one of our monthly parties because we literally celebrated her every month, one of our friends came over and she was a part of this gathering and the gatherings that we would have. And my mother said, you don't look too good. And she said, I just got out of the hospital with pneumonia. And I must have been way across the room, but I somehow heard pneumonia and I came flying back. I said, why are you hugging my mother? Get back. <laughs> a few days later, my mother went in the hospital with pneumonia. I didn't blame this woman. I didn't even blame myself for having folks around knowing my mother's state because I didn't really think about it that way. I just knew that whatever time she had, she wanted to do what she wanted to do and she wanted to live the way she loved to live, which was with people and loved ones around her. Um, a few weeks after that, my mother passed away and the cause of death was not that brain tumor, it was pneumonia. This week I had quite a bit to celebrate. I was celebrating my birthday, I was celebrating the fact that I was still here, I was celebrating the fact that I had felt better than I have felt in a very long time. But upstairs from me was my daughter Fatima who we now know had a cold, but we had her tested to make sure. Because Fatima, being in her 20s, is like the rest of us. She's been in the house. She left her job. She's been working with me <laughs> for what, eight, nine months? All of her friends that she gets to hang out with, she hasn't been able to. And so she went to the park with another friend and they were just gonna be distance and then their masks. And the friend said, I've never seen it out here. Let's go for a ride. And they did. And the friend said she'd been in isolation. Tim's been in isolation. Both of them had been tested, been tested negative. And then Fatima got that cold and all the what ifs came back up. What if somebody she was in contact with was in contact with someone who was asymptomatic, who was in contact with, because we've been on lockdown. What if maybe one of those times she went to the grocery store and no, 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 mom, I keep a mask on. What if? And all those what ifs because we're getting tired after nine months of doing this battle, after two years of my mother doing that battle, one little thing. And so the night before my birthday, way late in the night because Fatima had been checking her email and checking her medical record over and over and refreshing the page and refreshing the page. And she was like, I feel better. I said, can you taste? I can taste. She was in complete isolation. We're big enough and separated enough so that everybody has their space. She was making ramen noodle in a coffee pot. <laughs> she had a bag on a string that she would bring back upstairs. came running downstairs, mom, I got the results. Send it to me, it's a whole report, it's negative, completely negative. And she did the deep dive with this test. But 
the fear that we had around that. Listen, people. I travel so much that I'm a multi-million flyer, mile flyer on most airlines. Multi-million miles on most airlines. I travel so much that I have the highest status on most airlines. I travel so much that people in the airport have been calling to see me. So yesterday, when people kept suggesting to me, well, you should let your friends celebrate you. You should get together with people. You should allow some people. It will do so much for your spirit. Does this spirit look low? I'm seeing and connecting with more folks than I have in years. I'm usually on a plane this time of week, not alone, let alone this time of year. I travel so much, I've never been home this much. Don't let being inside for this long cause you to do something for a little bit of time that erases all the time you did the right thing. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It is easy to grow weary of doing what we need to do. But this thing is not done. And neither are you. You've got work to do. And if you're lonely and isolated and you don't have anybody to talk to, just consider me your friend. Most of y'all do anyway. And by the way, I'm tired of being the only black person some of y'all know. <laughs> it's okay. It really is. Fatima was so happy and so elated and so grateful and so apologetic. At the same time, we're quick to say, oh no, it was nothing. Oh no, it was, act as if it is. Because I'm telling you, I'm from Delaware. Biden's a buddy. But yesterday there was a bigger celebration. And it wasn't because of my birthday. It was because I was given another opportunity to tell you, don't play with this life. Don't play with yours, and don't play with your mamas, don't play with your cousins, don't play with your kids, don't play with this life, because it has so much more to give you. I love you.